Stranger Things fans were left wallowing in a pool of tears at the end of season three when Hopper's fate was completely up in the air, but a teaser for season four has officially dropped and long live Hopper. What's up y'all, Samil Ennis Jr. back here on Clever News and winter is coming. That's right, I'm taking a page straight out of Game of Thrones on this one because Stranger Things season four is officially underway. Only this time we're doing a little traveling outside of the Hawkins, Indiana bubble and heading to the frigid cold of Russia. The official Stranger Things Instagram account posted a teaser video this morning seemingly confirming Hopper's return, captioned from Russia with love, and shout out to Netflix for the epic spoiler. Fans were left on a massive cliffhanger at the end of season three after thinking Jim Hopper died after getting too close to the upside down portal. In the last few seconds of the season finale, we heard about the American, and apparently our hopes and dreams have officially been answered because Hopper has somehow transported to the Russian prison. Now, naturally, the fans are buzzing with theories, so let's break it down, shall we? One theory suggests that Hopper was transported through time when the whole explosion during the Battle of Starcourt Mall went down. This theory came to fruition as fans recall way back to the beginning of Stranger Things when the boy's science teacher Mr. Clark explained to the boys that they could potentially rescue Will from the Upside Down. Remember the whole acrobat, tightrope, and flea explanation? Well, is there any way for the acrobat to get to the Upside Down? Well, you'd have to create a massive amount of energy, more than humans are currently capable of creating, mind you, to open up some kind of tear in time and space. Acrobats can only travel forward and backward, but a flea in this case, Will, and now Hopper, can use the same tightrope traveling up and down, aka between dimensions. Okay, that was even a lot to take in for me, but David Harbour's very own theory is put in much simpler terms, and yes, he's technically a fan, so don't at me. During an interview with the LA Times, David suggested that because of his newfound relationship with Eleven, he needed to shed his skin, and that because his own daughter, Sarah, passed away, he was unable to do so. David added he was finally able to really take a bullet for a child, which he had never been able to do because Sarah died of cancer. I think there's a perfection to it. Now, whether or not there's some sort of second act resurrection would be very interesting to me, but that remains to be seen. He would certainly have to emerge a different individual. I assume since this interview that David probably knows the fate of his own character, but I'm intrigued to say the least. Another theory found on Reddit suggests that whoever it was that saved Hopper has yet to be revealed and that they may stem from the same family as Eleven. One user shared, a 10 year old Russian boy starting with B will be introduced. He'll have some mind related superpower like L and his number will be or should be 13. He's the person who following the orders of the evil Russian superiors and the instructions of Dr. Brenner, the American prisoner, opened the gate in Russia. The user added that B will be like the new Alexei winning over the hearts of viewers. He said in the last episode when L and all the other numbers she's gathered, such as seven, nine, 10, and 12 come together and travel to the upside down to rescue Hop, the Russian boy will work close alongside L in battle and will make the ultimate sacrifice to kill the mind flayer and save everyone. This is also super interesting. When followers in the thread asked how this user came up with the name B, the user responded by saying, Every season, someone starting with B died. Benny, Barb, Bob, Billy, he'll be the B of season four. Plus, David Harbour did suggest that his character needed to emerge as a different person. The plot thickens, y'all. And finally, the dynamic duo that is the Duffer Brothers, aka the Stranger Things creators, have teased in the past that they'd always wanted to give Hopper his big Han Solo sacrifice moment. And for those of you non-Star Wars fans, basically Han turned out to be alive, but was being held prisoner by Jabba the Hutt after sacrificing himself. Matt Duffer dished the inspiration behind the decision for Hopper to sacrifice himself to Entertainment Weekly, saying, quote, we always wanted to give him a darker ending. It was emotional to shoot, but it was really, really quick. David never asked for music, but I think we did play some emotional music when we shot David's final look at Winona. Ross Duffer went on to add, there's a tragedy there, but there's also a little bit of it's okay to Joyce. There's so much going on in his eyes and you can only script that so much. So will he come back like the captain of the Millennium Falcon after being held prisoner by the Russians, AKA Jabba the Hutt? So apparently Hopper lives on, but the real question is how? You've heard the theories, so now it's time for you guys to do the talking. Which of these theories do you think seems most accurate? Get to talking right down here in the comment section below. And feel free to share any theories of your own. Also, after that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that notification bell, and then click right over here for another brand new video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you next time in the Upside Down. No, just here on Clever. <laughs>